Hey, how are you guys doing? How you doing? Good, having any luck? Uh, I see these two guys fishing. The water that they're fishing in, we do stock with trout and salmon. Cool, I'll just check your licenses when you get a sec. Dude, I don't have it on me. You don't have it on you? No. Okay. Do you have yours with you? I don't have one. How come? Why don't you have one? You don't have one yet? No. He does not. Okay. Do you have a, do you have a driver's license? No. No? How old are you? 17. Okay. Do you have an ID on you or anything? Not on me. No, he hasn't. He doesn't even have, you know, not a driver's license or anything. How come? You just haven't got one? I just haven't got one yet. You got a fishing license in the past? No. And are you guys related? Yeah, he's my nephew. What's your name? Damien. Damien. Last name? And your address. Where are you living at? Do you know your address? Yeah, but my concern with all this is we buy the equipment with our own money, so like, why do we need permission to use it? To go fishing? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you don't think you need a license? It's pretty much just a way to provide food. So why would we need it? Because we stock the fish in the bond and you and catch we, the fish. You only stock certain fish. That's the law. I mean, it's not like you didn't know the law. So what's your address? You don't want to tell me your address? No? You want to make this more difficult than it really is? Personally, I don't see why you need it. Okay. I'll be right back with you. You have your license, right? I don't have my wallet on me at all. But do you have a fishing license? I should still, yeah. And you bought it in this winter, right? Yeah. You go fishing. So yeah. you still have it. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back with you. I'm going to call the PD. Just have an officer come down. He's not giving me any address info, so he doesn't believe he needs a fishing license to go fishing. I think he does need a fishing license. For sure. Ron? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, I have a question. I'm down here on Letter S Road with a kid that's 17. He doesn't have no ID. He's not giving me any address. He doesn't believe he needs a fishing license. And I'm going to issue him a ticket, so I didn't know if one of you guys might be able to swing down. Yeah, we have to get the Bye. OK, cool. Thanks. Bye. I brought in the PD to mediate and also have somebody as a backup case as an issue. All right, Damien, do you have a middle initial? Well, I'm writing you a summons for a fishing without a license, so I need to know this info. First, I was thinking, you know, this guy's 17, doesn't have a fishing license, not a big deal, I'll just go make him buy a fishing license. But then he kind of copped this attitude, kind of turned it around a little bit, and made my decision pretty clear to write him a ticket. You got to give him an initial, you know, but at this point, I just Yeah, need you, need, an you need an initial. I'm going to need a social security number, too, because you don't have a driver's license or an ID, so. OK. What's that? Saying that that's all you're going to get. OK, so I'm not going to get a social security number? I don't know what I'm talking about. OK, is there somebody at home that would? Not at the moment. All right, what's your height? Uh, you're going to be difficult the whole time, or? Just cooperate at this point, buddy. He's he's already writing you a summons, and you don't want to make it any worse than it, it already is. I mean, really, this, this can be simple. You just give me the information when I ask it, and I write it down on this piece of paper. You believe you don't need a fishing license. We go to court. We see the judge. The judge makes the decision, and it's done. OK? Yeah, it's that simple. It's that simple. That you, simple. If you want to pay the fine, you say it and you know, pay it, whatever you want to do. So I didn't know if you know this fellow here. I don't know this guy. I know okay. uh, Josh. Yes. Yeah, I'm not familiar with him. I'm trying to get some info out of him so I can finish writing this ticket, but it's like pulling teeth. So didn't know if you guys, you have him in the system. Do you have his height, weight, air, you know, and that kind of stuff? When I looked him up real quick, there was not much. Minimal stuff. OK. But, uh, if you don't know how tall you are, bud, how tall are you? I don't know how tall I am. How tall are you? 
Oh, five, six. That'll work. That'll work. Two way. I don't see why that matters. 180 pounds, about. Uh, All right. So, 150. All right. But still, I don't see why it matters. He's trying to write you a ticket right now. Can you take your glasses off for a second so I can see your eyes? Thank you. I just think it's more control for the government. Well, you can feel that way, but I'll just give you this the way it is, and you can send it in the mail, or you can have a court date. You're fishing the Merrimeaton River without a valid fishing license. The fine is $93 if you choose. So all you got to do on the back, you should plead not guilty, guilty or no low. No low means you don't contest the ticket. You just want to pay it and be done with it. Read that gray box, sign and date it, and send it in the mail. And I'm not going to confiscate the stuff, but if I do catch you out here fishing without a license again, I will. Have a nice day. Thank you, guys. Yeah. It was just odd. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was kind of, kind like of a government, government like yeah. anti-government kind of guy. So, you know, I don't know exactly why he was that way, but. Um, it is a free country. They can think how they want, but you have a requirement to have a fishing license to go fishing. You stock fish for the people to catch. Fish and Game Department is funded by a lot of fishing licenses, so that's, that's how it works.